Now, just as we planned, we'll slip the poison into his drink. Yes, that is the first step. Master Ma Tang and Master Liu Bei are ready to make their move as well. This is our chance to punish this traitor for seeking to bask in the Emperor's glory! I see you have shown your true colors at last, Dong Chen. Hmm. What is the meaning of this commotion? Father, may I have a moment? We have captured somebody who is part of a plot to have you assassinated. What? Dong Cheng? How dare you? Cao Cao, you are a servant of the Emperor, yet you ignore His Highness and act as if you rule the land yourself. You think... perhaps you think you are the Emperor, or that you will take his place. You must be punished for your boundless arrogance. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. The land may require the Imperial Throne, but the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo have shown that that alone is not enough. Therefore, I must bring a sense of reason to this land that, combined with the influence of the throne, will save this land. That is the path I choose to follow. I do not expect someone like you to understand. However, I cannot allow you to interfere, either. Take him away. Father, it appears that Liu Bei was also involved with Dong Cheng's plot. However, Liu Bei has already fled Xu Chong, and even gone so far as to abandon his lands in Xiao Pei. Hm, he truly... Cao Cao, see how they repay your kindness? 
If you leave them be, they will surely turn against you again. No, we are fine to deal with them later. Liu Bei's only choice is to flee to Yuan Chao. There he will likely be used as a sacrificial pawn in a much... We can deal with him when we face Yuan Chao. Even if he lives, there is nowhere for him to go. He will not be a problem for you any longer. Hmm. Xiao Dun. Do I chase after Liu Bei? Or do I make preparation? Yuan Shao is using his superior numbers to his advantage. Our defensive lines along the Yellow River have fu- That means that Bu Yang has- I am also hearing word that Sun Se has conquered Jian Dong and is planning to follow up on Yuan Shao's movements by invading Yan province. So, should we withdraw for the time being and look to regroup? No, it will not be easy for Sun Se to invade Yan province. He conquered Jiangdong with alarming speed. As such, he has created many enemies. He will be too focused on his immediate... What do you think, Master Shunyo? If we continue to focus on defense, we will never come out ahead in this battle. Therefore, I think we should target the enemy's position. Baima and Yanjing are defended by Yang Liang and Wen Chao. Although, they are some of Yuan Shao's fiercest officers, we should abandon Puyang and leave the bare minimum of troops to defend our main camp. The rest of our forces... I have made my decision. Reform the units, and leave a minimal squad to defend the main camp at Guandu. Everybody else. We need to secure the front lines and then eliminate Wen Xiao. We can overcome our inferior numbers through intellect and bravery. Yo. <laughs> With our lives, so if that's what it takes. Nope. Focus on the enemy and run them through. So
impossible. Cao Cao's forces can't be doing this to us. Oh, abandon Baima. Huh. Things turned out nicely. Yes, your deeds will go down nope. in legend. Things turned out nicely. Excellent, Shahodu.
momentum come from? Oh, no. We've lost the midpoint base. Master Yuan Chao, my approach. You in shower. I have a friend. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Them off. You're finished! 
One of Yuan Shao's men. Oh! You want to defeat Yuan Shao? There's a place nearby to. you've got then not bad not bad at all in that case face our full might House forces. What? Dumb young, let them hear him. We have no choice. You have to abandon Yan Chi. How powerless I feel. Things 
turned out nicely. Your abilities are truly amazing. You are an inspiration to us all. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. A report! Yuan Shao's man, Shu Yu, wishes to surrender. He awaits word in Wu Chao. Shu Yu's surrender may change the We should hurry to Wu Chao. Logistics are key, especially when fighting a large force. Distribute those supplies! No could Sozo's meager forces overcome our noble army! No! This is impossible! So, I refuse to believe it! With this, the Master has secured all of Hebei. Everyone! Give a victory cry! This victory has opened a path forward for our Lord. My only regret is that I will not live to see where it leads. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Long live Lord Cao Cao! This victory alone is not enough to end the chaos. We must... Easy, Eugene. We have defeated... Yes, my lord. As... Mm. We have defeated Yuan Shao to become the single largest force in the land. We are ready to begin our quest to unite the land. However, the fight to come will be nothing like we've ever seen before. Hard and fraught with peril. However, that is of no concern to us now. Tonight, we will celebrate our victory in order to refresh both our minds and bodies. Just you wait, Yuan Shao. The path I have laid. The battles yet to come. I will utilize them to bring an end to the chaos with my own hands and create a new world order for all to enjoy. Master Shen Yu, your work at Guandu was spectacular. Your exploitation of Yu and Chao's weakness in that battle was exceptional. No. My humble contribution was nothing compared to your own Master Guojia. At Guandu, it just so happened that I was the one the enemy leaked that information to. After that, I just used the information to give our Lord the very best plan I could think of. You don't allow yourself enough credit, but I guess I should have expected that of you. I, standing in front of people and detailing a battle is just not me. I have no problems with just acting, though. I just can't be like you or Master Yu. Or be like Master Jia Shu. Hey. Oh. oh, yeah. 
I hear someone saying my name, and it turns out to be you, Master Shun Wu. It looks like you talk a lot when you drink. Master Joshu. <laughs> Sorry for butting in. I guess I can go do my thing somewhere else. Uh, hmm. A small interruption. A great plan. Your ability to startle people is truly exceptional. Uh, I can't hold a torch to Master Joshu. That does put me in a difficult position. I had planned to have you take over for me one day. Master Vojia. No, it's not. You have your own strengths, especially when it comes to... Anyway. I really like that you accompany me when I'm drinking. I couldn't ask for a better friend than you. Yes. I will stay with you as long as you need me. 